physical fights? Such a baby. Because Pull you, the fuck off, Because you Tony. started physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time. What, 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 what's your excuse? When there's not a physical fight, then what's the excuse there? You're still being admirable, right? You're just by running away? Ned Fulmer from the Try Guys cheated on his wife, as hard as that is to believe that a guy like him could do that. And Marilyn Manson, well, I guess the Marilyn Manson case, it's barely reaching the mainstream media. You have to see. Okay, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for clicking the little bell. Welcome to another episode of What's Going On? What's Going On? Okay, now, look, I'm sorry, bro. I'm really sorry, but I, I don't want to be a fucking asshole, but I have to be. These are the guys right here from the Try Guys. Whoop, whoop. Sorry. These are the guys. You see them. The, and you know, you know the worst part about all this? You've been looking at that photo, okay? These guys, they get so much love from women on social media. Women love those guys. Like, they're like, oh my God, they're so amazing and they love their wives and they're so great because... Nah, nah, nah. Dude, they're a bunch of fucking effeminate-ass dudes. There's e I don't have it right here. I'll go and find it for you. These, th these guys did a testosterone test on their sperm and they had the sperm and testosterone of an 85-year-old man. Okay. <sighs> Trying not to get heated. Because the, the part that really pisses me off is these are the dudes in our society that are looked up to by women on social media. These are the guys. The guys like that. It's infuriating. And then guys like me that we're, we're not afraid to speak. We're not afraid to tell these women off, to tell them what they're doing and hold them accountable for what they're doing. We're told, oh, you're toxic masculinity. Ugh. Toxic masculinity. Mm, you're toxic. Uh, obviously not. Because the dude with 85-year-old sperm, that guy just cheated on his fucking wife. So, hey, all you gullible moron, and not my subscribers, definitely not my subscribers. All you gullible moronic women on social media, what the fuck do you have to say now? Oh, that's right. You're going to try and blame him even though it's your judgment that you thought that that guy was a great person and people like men like me were toxic masculinity yeah yeah right so this is from the uh, the news outlet that we don't want to talk about because they're pieces of shit and they helped amber heard during the trial try guys ned fulmer fired after cheating allegations Rough week for Try Guy star Ned Fulmer. He just got kicked out of the group after being accused of being unfaithful in his marriage. The popular YouTube group Try Guys announced Tuesday that Ned was no longer working with the group's three other members, Keith whatever, Eugene whatever, and Zach whatever. Following allegations, Ned cheated on his wife, Ariel. And there they are right there. Hmm. I mean, they look like a good couple, but the dude's just a piece of shit. It's pretty messy. Ned was recently filmed kissing producer Alex Herring, who also works on projects with the crew in a New York club. And there she is right there. The Try Guys, famous for trying all sorts of things from food to women's clothing, say they cut the cord with Ned following an internal review, explaining that they did not see a path forward together. It appears Ned is already being scrubbed from a ton of Try Guys content. Eagle-eyed fans say he suddenly disappeared from some recent videos and he's been absent from the group's recent podcasts. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. Great job, outlet that tried to help Amber Heard during the fucking trial. Real nice short article. I bet you anything. You want to know the worst thing? The one thing that I hate about these short-ass articles is that the person that gets paid for those kind of things, you're talking about maybe. What was that? One paragraph, two paragraphs, three, four, five, that's it. For five paragraphs, dude, I bet you that person gets paid like more money than normal people make at their jobs. Just for five paragraphs about some douchebag effeminate man 
that cheated on his wife. But but this is the real. This is the real issue for me. The real issue for me as a man, the type of man that I am, is that dudes like this are looked up to, and women on social media are like, "Oh my God, he's amazing. He's such a great guy." No, you're just a fucking horrible judge of character, and we all know that because of all your past boyfriends, Emily. So, ugh, like, it, it pisses me off so bad because I'm labeled as toxic masculinity. Like, I'm not going to get angry. <laughs> I'm not going to get angry. We're just going to move on. Okay, now, Marilyn Manson from the Daily Mail. Marilyn Manson claims Evan Rachel Wood and new lover faked, oh, no, no, not lover, scissor sister. Get it right, Daily Mail. Scissor, scissor sister get it right marilyn manson claims evan rachel wood and scissor sister faked an fbi letter against him saying he was under investigation for sexual abuse and bid to recruit women to make allegations against the rock star and i'm going to go back to the adam levine thing what happened with adam levine he got busted out by that woman last week okay last week and other women started coming forward on their own they did it on their own they didn't get a fucking email from a scissor sister they didn't get a fake fbi letter they didn't have to go to a little group therapy for a fucking documentary that was totally worthless okay they came forward on their own that's how you know even worse that this marilyn manson thing is total bullshit but before we get into the story. I want you to understand something. The state of California is a feminist shithole. Okay, they just recently had a ruling that went against uh, Marilyn Manson and it went for Ilma Gore and Evan Rachel Wood. Now, you have to be ready. Be ready in your mind. The state of California is going to do everything they possibly can to make sure this woman wins. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't fucking matter. Marilyn Manson's ex-fiance, actress Evan Rachel Wood, was accused Tuesday of helping to distribute a fake FBI letter that accused the rocker of being under investigation for sexually abusing women. Manson is suing Westworld star Wood and her romantic partner, Scissor Sister, artist Il Magor, for defamation over what he calls the malicious and false sexual abuse allegations they have made against him, which he claims derailed his successful music, TV, and film career. Tuesday at Los Angeles Superior Court, Manson's attorney, Jackson Trugman, said that Gore had used the allegedly forged... What do you mean, allegedly? What do you mean, allegedly? Do these people not do their research? Really, bro? This case is years old already. What do you mean, allegedly? It is forged. The, the person that's on the letter, the woman that's on... It's a woman. The agent, that's a female, that's on the letter. She said she did not get that uh, note authorized, that letter. She didn't write it. She didn't authorize it. She didn't sign her name. What do you mean, Daily Mail? Allegedly. The allegedly forged FBI letter to recruit other women into accusing his client of abuse. That one statement... And I'm not talking about the forged FBI letter. The fact that they recruited women and it's proven that they recruited women. That one statement alone should cancel out the whole thing. That one thing. And I don't understand it. And it's just so infuriating that they don't see that. We have evidence that Miss Wood and Scissor Sister Miss Gore collaborated in this letter he told the court. Wood denied the accusation. Yeah, fucking course she did. Saying in a written declaration that she did not circulate the false FBI letter. What? Well, that doesn't mean that she didn't know it was fake, and that doesn't mean that she didn't know about it. Ugh. But Trugman disputed her denial, telling L.A. Superior Court Judge Teresa Baudet it would be improper to conclude just from Miss Wood's declaration that she didn't circulate this letter. Judge Baudet continued the hearing to December 1st and ordered Gore to submit to questioning from Manson's attorneys. Mm. And I bet you anything Gore's going to run from that just the same way Ashley Walters is, just the same way Smithline did. These are, they're all rats. Every single one of those fucking people, they're all fucking rats. Oof. 
to submit questioning from Manson's attorneys in a deposition to be held by October 27th. In his lawsuit, Manson 53, real name Brian Warner, claims that in their alleged FBI letter forgery... No, 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 no. Oh, I'm going to fix that statement for you. In his lawsuit, Manson 53, real name Brian Warner, claims that in their fake FBI letter, they impersonated an FBI agent to distribute the letter to create a false appearance that Manson's alleged victims and their families were in danger. The performer claims the pair created a fake email address to make it look as if Manson 53 sent her illicit P word. I'm not going to say that on YouTube. He also accuses them of recruiting, coordinating, and pressuring women into making false accusations of abuse against Marilyn. He alleges that Gore hacked into his computer, phone, and email account, obtaining his passwords and social security number. He claims she used the information she obtained from his accounts to orchestrate and promulgate false accusations against him. Woods34 has said that Manson brainwashed and manipulated... Oh. Fine. Fine. He did. Uh, manipulated her into submission and that he started grooming me when I was a teenager. I'm not going to scream right now even though I want to so bad. You were 19, bro. You weren't a teenager. You were 19. You weren't a teenager and really the only reason that 19 is considered a teenager is because it has the word teen in it that's the only reason anyone that's 19 knows you're not a fucking teenager she's using and that's what they do double speak that's exactly what they do they know what they're doing they know that 19 isn't a teenager they're they're using this bullshit and that's what even gets me more riled up because these people are conniving pieces of shit, I swear. And that he started grooming me when I was a teenager and horrifically abused me for years. <laughs> Dude, do you have any idea? Evan, Evan, go and watch my channel. We have so many stories of you praising this man in the past. Oh my God. It's just, it's so weird to read this and you know the truth. And, and and no, and when I say the truth, I'm not saying it as in, oh no, we know the truth. We know, we know what happened. No, uh, we have the articles. Literally, we read them. She praises Marilyn Manson over and over and over again in so many articles from the past 10 years. And she detailed her allegations of abuse in a two-part piece of shit, bullshit HBO documentary called Phoenix Rising that was completely full of shit. Manson is suing Wood and Gore, Scissor Sister, excuse me, let me say that again. <laughs> Manson is suing Wood and Scissor Sister Gore for defamation, emotional distress, and impersonation over the internet among other charges and seeks damages of an unspecified amount to be determined at trial, as well as an order and joining Wood and Scissor Sister from engaging in further wrongful conduct towards him. The suit claims Wood, with the help of Scissor Sister, fabricated her allegations against Manson in effort to provide more manufactured content for Phoenix Rising. What? I don't remember any of that, but um, hold on, is... Are they trying to say that all of this was so that way they could have a better documentary? Wow, that's the first time I've heard of that, but that's actually a really good uh, 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 angle. Well, excuse me, I went blank. That's a really good angle to take. Yeah, they wanted content for that stupid bullshit documentary. More manufactured content for Phoenix Rising, which both Scissor Sisters worked on. Woods attorneys have claimed Manson's defamation suit meritless. What? Are you serious? We just got through the Johnny Depp trial. What do you mean meritless, dude? You you literally ruined his entire career, music and acting. What do you mean meritless? Oh my God. Ooh. And an example of the retaliation Manson long threatened Wood with if she spoke out about his abuse. Okay. Okay. Fine. That's horrible. Look at that. My hand. Ugh. 
that's horrible. So what, do you have any proof of that? Dude, I, we've been here for months and months and months, and I've never seen any kind of proof of that. L.A. County sheriffs have been working on possible criminal charges against Manson, but controversial L.A.D.A. George Gascon said last week that his office needs more evidence before they can consider those charges. More evidence? What more do you need, man? God. And I can bet you anything, they just don't want to come out and say that he's innocent or that they're not going to charge him because Evan Rachel Wood is going to get all those piece of shit people that she calls her fans and they're going to inundate that office with phone calls and letters and they're going to be complaining. So you want to know something, there's a very strong possibility that Marilyn Manson could only be charged because the people in Los Angeles don't want backlash against them from the public. So you have to be ready for that because that can actually happen. And they'll want to go through the whole trial process to prove he's innocent, right? But the only reason they're going to file charges is so this dumbass B word, which I can't say, which my, my subscribers have told me, call her the B word, we don't care. But I'm not going to do it. Because this dumbass B word is just trying to get as many people as she can. Oh, call them, call them. She puts it on her stories, dumbass. Oh can't stand these people, that his office needs more evidence before they can consider those charges, despite the sheriff's team working for 19 months to present a dossier. And that's the end of that. And then, <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this photo so you've been seeing it, but I just scrolled to it. Look at this stupid shit. What, what is this? What are, what are we looking at right here? is this why are you why are you dressed that way i'm not i'm not, I'm not talking to evan rachel Wood. i'm talking to the scissor sister why are you dressed like that what kind of art is that and then why do you have a louis vuitton toilet now i know she's supposed to be an artist is that art or let me guess is it what's that called modern art is that what it's called or something like that where you where you go to like a a big old art studio and then it's just like a piece of trash and they put the trash on top of a stick so then the, when the people walk by they're like oh, well that is some nice trash yeah well yeah you know um that's art right there modern art hmm yeah oh so modern so progressive i love that art and that's exactly how they are. Okay, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for staying with me this long. We will catch you next time.